Seed dropped in. If he has any desire to come after me, tell him I'll be waiting in Del Rio. A little something for his burial. Gentlemen, good night. Seed ain't nothing more to kill Crazy Coyote. Now, why do we sit back twiddling our thumbs while he makes a laughing stock out of the law? Seed always heads for Del Rio after every job, Billy. You know the country over there. High ground, perfect boulder formation for cover. It'd take a small army to rout them out. Besides, a lot of decent men could get shot up. Be worth it to nail that murderous skunk. Our job is to protect people, not to set them up as sitting ducks. Besides, a posse would only alert Seed as men. Now, if one man could work his way into Del Rio... One man to do the job he claims too tough for a posse? Well, a handful of men once did the job of a great army, Billy. The Achaean army. Remember how they spent ten years trying to storm the walls of Troy? Huh? Ancient Greek history, Billy. You see, there was this uh, great warrior. His name was Menelaus. And he was married to a beautiful woman. Her name was Helen. A very beautiful. test of marksmanship, ladies and gentlemen, and the highest test of courage by my staunch partner. Are you ready, Professor? <laughs> Sam, he's going to try from a quick draw. my friends. It's just a sample of tonight's performance. 
That's right, folks. Right here tonight at 8 o'clock sharp, right here in the plaza of your beautiful city, you will see the finest array of talent this side of the great city of Chicago. Hey, I thought we agreed to forget that fool trick. <laughs> no harm done. Oh, let's see. Well, your ears are pretty as ever. Yeah, um, <laughs> I intend to keep them that way, too. So do I, my friend. So do I. Now, you set up the wagon while I visit the local tavern. And uh, clean these, will you? Hey, 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 hey. I thought this was supposed to be a partnership. I do all the work, take all the chances, do all the dangerous stunts, and you have all the fun. <laughs> now, look, all I want to do is set up an extra show in the saloon, see? For a little percentage of the whiskey sales, that's all. Mm -hmm. ah, now, we've got to consider our deflated finances, now, don't we? Well, if it's strictly business, all right, but look, this time, don't get us in any trouble, huh? <laughs> of course. But who do you love? Oh, huh? um... <laughs> oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I. Sam, about that yarn you started, uh, that Greek stuff, how'd they finally get into this, this Troy place? Wooden horse. You've got smooth ways, Mr. O'Hara. <laughs> Very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. O'Hara's my father, isn't it? Now, let me hear you say Hardy. <laughs> Hardy. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. No. After all, people shouldn't wait years to, to become good friends. <laughs> I've heard that kind of talk before. Oh. But I've got to admit it sounds pretty good coming from you. <laughs> you know, Cleo, I never felt like this about any girl. You were saying, hmm? Mm. Now, look, friend, this is a private conversation at, uh, uh, well, good afternoon, Marshal. Sir O'Hara, do you mind if we have a few words in private? Uh, uh. I just saw your little show outside. You're pretty good with a gun, Mr. O'Hara. A little practice, a little talent. You figure on staying in Santa Fe a while? Oh, another day, maybe two. You going anyplace special from here? South, maybe. Why? Well, I'd like to hire your services and your show wagon for a few days. <laughs> the law planning to put on a little show, Marshal? Might call it that. How much would you charge for, say, three days? Well, now, Marshal, we do pretty good business. Sometimes 10, 12, 15, Dollars a day. Well, the government wants to be fair. We'll pay you a flat $50 for three days. Cash? In advance. It's only fair you know the details first. Oh, Marshal, I never bother with mere details, especially where the government's concerned. You're sure now. You won't back out. Not a chance. My hand on it, Marshal. We got ourselves a deal. Fine. And tomorrow at noon, we start out for Del Rio. Del Rio? Well, we'll be there with Bell. Del Rio? Oh, well... Uh, sorry, Marshal, but that, that's that's way off our uh, route. Now, look, Marshal, I'm a private citizen. You can't impose on my constitutional... Mr. O'Hara, using your own words, we've got ourselves a deal. Now, remember, tomorrow at noon. Hardy, about that feeling you mentioned. Hmm? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it never fails to happen. Leave you alone in a new town for ten minutes, and we're both in trouble. Later, Josh, later. Whoa, oh, Bessie Lou, whoa. Oh. Now, I want something understood between Will us. Will you wait till we're out of town before you start bawling me out? Marshal meant business. Come here. Mr. O'Hara, 
Del Rio is that way. Uh, are you sure, Marshal? Joshua? That way. Well, it, it used to be then. <laughs> sometime tomorrow. I uh, guess it's only fair to tell you why I needed your wagon to get me there. I plan on taking Frank Seed. What? The Frank Seed, the, the outlaw? Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. You never said anything about getting us killed. No, I don't intend endangering you two. Darn right you don't. Taking Frank Seed's a job for the law, not, not private citizens. All you have to do is drive through Del Rio. Once we're inside of town, I'll jump off. From there on, I'll handle things on my own. Couldn't we drop you outside of Del Rio? Uh, Cedar's smart enough to post lookouts. Well, the lookouts could stop us. Why would they want to stop a lone, innocent-looking wagon? Why would not be? What do you think? All right. But you promised to give us a good, long head start. My word on it. Taking Frank Seed won't be exactly a picnic, Marshal. Very little about my job is. You don't seem very concerned. I'll have plenty of time for concern once we're in Del Rio. Good night, Mr. O'Hara. Good night, Marshal. <laughs> again. What look? You know what look. The one you always get when you're just about to get us both involved in something. Now, please, don't get any more feather-brained ideas. Josh, you know I'm a confirmed coward. Heroes make me nervous. Yeah, well, cowards make me nervous. inviting unnecessary complications. And another thing, Marshal, you can't go riding into Del Rio dressed like that, wearing that pistol belt and that biggest life Marshal's badge. I'll be riding inside the wagon. Marshal, you promised not to put us in danger. But if something should happen, well, we'd feel a lot safer if you look more like one of us. Uh, Josh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that uh, little outfit I wore in the rodeo last summer. Yep. <laughs> 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 Stop, friend. Just passing through. Frank Seed makes it a point to check anybody that gets this close. And he likes to do it personal. Let's go. Won't stop an innocent looking wagon, huh? All right, get moving. Uh, with the utmost dispatch, sir. They're just passing through, Frank. Well, yeah, like your man said, Mr. Seed, uh, we're just passing through. <laughs> then you know me. Well, only by reputation. And by the reward on my head, no doubt. 
Why'd you pick up the savage? This is savage. Oh, oh, no, no. He's a regular member of our troop, Mr. Seed. He, he armors as a newborn babe. Might be interesting if you give us a little performance to find out if you really are a show troop. Well, Mr. Seed, <laughs> it'll be our pleasure, but uh, we are a little tired, you know. Uh, let's say tonight at 9. Now. Now? Now. And observe carefully, my friends. The hand is quicker than the eye. Hey! <laughs> How right you are. The hand is quicker than the eye. An old trick, O'Hara. Too old to justify your claims as a professional show troop. Well, I, I tried to explain. We are a little tired. The moth-eaten Indian, what does he do? Well, the moth-eaten he... Oh, him. Uh, one second. And now, Chief Eagle Eye will demonstrate his skill with his own native weapon. Gentlemen, step down from there. Now, look, Mr. Seed, if you'll just give us a chance later tonight, we'll give you a show that'll... Ben! Just be... Take him down to the oak tree in back of the corral and stay with him. Tonight, you better be good. Or I might be forced to invent a little entertainment of my own. Something, say, like... Uh, dancing while dangling from a tree. Listen, Frank, they ain't no good. Let's have a little fun and hang them right now. Not yet. What show wagon? Keeps reminding me of something. Oh, a fine mess you got me into. I got you into. I suppose he's just an innocent bystander, huh? Well, you took the $50. Well, I gave you half. Won't do any good to argue You keep out of this. Oh, this is the last time. Oh, if I get out of this alive, you and me are through. Finished. Well, that goes double for me. Hey, what's all that gabbing? Oh, uh, just planning our show for tonight, friend. Ought to be real good, you know. <laughs> There'll be no show tonight, gentlemen. I've made other plans. Plans? A little bank. We'll be headed there first thing in the morning. We? Oui. A little bank. You three? My men, and that nice wagon of yours. I don't get it, Frank. Ben, I doubt if you'd understand. Ancient Greek history. There was a great warrior, Menelaus. He had a beautiful wife, Helen. Very beautiful woman, gentlemen. As soon as the wagon nears the town, you four follow me. Ben, you stay with the wagon and make sure that they set up at the other end of town. I'll hit the bank right after they start their show. What about these show people? They'd better be good enough to keep the town's people occupied. And if not... Thanks. 
Now, let's get out of here before you get us all killed, huh? You stay here with Joshua. Keep these people away from the bank. Now, just a darn minute. I gave you that arrow. I helped you get him out of the way because I figured we could make a run for it. I want Frank Seed. You can't go after Seed alone. He's got four men with him. You stay here and do as I say. <laughs> Seeding his men out of there. Well, I'm in this up to my neck. I might as well go under. You call the shots, Marshal. Now you duck back to the side window. Take a deep breath, count to three, and draw the fire. Don't rush the front door. But you'll be a sitting duck. I'll be counting on your fine shooting eye to cover me. Cut in behind him. Change your minds and ride back to Santa Fe with me. Santa Fe? I never want to see Santa Fe again. Just saying thanks seems hardly enough. I only hope we meet up again someday real soon. Not if we see you first, Marshal. You and that badge here is just a little bit too much trouble. Do you have any special message for that pretty dance hall girl? Oh, clear. Well, now, Santa Fe may not be a bad idea, considering it's... <coughs> uh, <laughs> there'll be other Cleos, Marshal. I want to see you, I love you. 